All right, gang. So here we are with the Brent V Series Green Carts, brand spanking new. And I've got the track and the wheel version. Now, of course, these come in red as well. Uh, I've got the green ones here. Uh, color doesn't matter. They're identical except for the color. I uh, just wanted to quickly show you the box. These are spec cast made. Really nice display window here. And then uh, easy access flaps on either side. The back side is going to tell you a little bit about the carts. And we got pictures of the real things here. Uh, both boxes have the wheel pictures instead of like, you know, the track box having the track pictures or so on and so forth. So um, let's get these out of the box and see what we think. All right, so here they are out of the package. Uh, you know, you're basically going to get the same thing whether you get the tracks or the wheels. The only difference, of course, is the tracks and the wheels. Just real quick, here's kind of the undercarriage of the tracks. She's got an axle running through. The tracks will pivot. So if you're, you know, you're going over rough terrain or something like that, you've got that. And then if we look at the wheel version, essentially the same setup. So uh, they really kind of save themselves by not redoing this undercarriage completely under here. Um, I think at this point, we probably know what to expect from spec cast. Uh, very high detail and they're pretty reasonably priced. I don't know. I think we're selling these for like in the $35 range, I think. Um, that shows anyway. So we've got kind of a simulated tarp up here. So it's got a roll tarp. This will not roll or unroll, but it still looks pretty nice. You can, you can see, um, I don't know how it, well it shows on camera, but you can kind of see the wrinkles as if this were a rolled tarp, which is pretty cool. Actually, that's a really neat feature. You've got your, uh, your crank to crank and uncrank the tarp as well as that holder right there. And then we're going to get a nice set of flashers back here. It's kind of neat that they're, they're offset. Um, I'm not real sure why, but they are. And that's kind of cool, I guess, because of the slope over here. But anyway, I think it's an interesting, uh, look to them anyway. And then you can kind of see your undercarriage detail that bolts up there. Big floater tires on the back here with some fairly decent detail inside of the rim here. Uh, you can see your bolt detail and your hub and all that stuff. So pretty neat. Here you've got uh, this crank. And I assume I'm pretty unfamiliar with Brent carts. So we run Kinsey. Uh, I, I just kind of assume this is to open up uh, a gate or something in here for flow control or maybe even clean out, not 100% sure. Like I said, not familiar with Brent carts. Now, one of the things, here, here's the thing that annoys me about this, is this doesn't open quite all the way. So if you look here, I don't know how well that's gonna show up on the camera, but it, it kind of angles here. And so rather than this completely laying over flat, now I don't know if that's because this pins in the, you know, needs to be up a little farther, or if this is just angled weird, but I'm pretty sure this shouldn't have this jog in here. Um, it just seems like added stress. And so I don't know if SpecCast just missed that a little bit or what, but anyway, pretty neat either way. Uh, nice auger, big, long unloading auger on this thing. So just, just for reference, we're going to grab the old township semi here. Fits very nicely right over the top of the bed on that. So very well done. I think you probably saw it earlier. Inside you've got your safety grating there. And you can kind of see where there would be a window, but there isn't. Now on the outside they've got the decal for the window. We do have Brent V-Series down the auger here. And more decaling, I guess more tampo really, but I'll, we'll call it decal for simplicity's sake. Ladder up here, got your little toolbox up there as well. And uh, some nice detail all up and through here, really. like this. So this is going to be, I think, what opens and closes your chute in here or your, your gate in here to allow flow. And it's kind of neat that they've run that all the way up to here at least. And of course, that would be hydraulically driven off the tractor. And then, uh, of course, it's got the kind of the tip top or whatever you guys call that, the extension on it, um, the angled extension that kind of Brent is known for, I guess, or, you know, sort of pioneered, if you will. And, of course, 
the uh, hitch. Now I'm gonna try, this is this is a spec cast tractor. So everybody, I don't wanna say everybody, I have a lot of people complain that you can't hook these up to an Ertl tractor, but, so here's this new 7R, and that, my friends, hooks up perfectly. You just leave the hitch pin in the tongue of the tractor, or in the, in the tongue of the, the hitch here, and you've kind of got your old classic style Ertl hitch if you do that. And then, of course, you want to hook it up to uh, a more realistic hitch. You can pull your pin out and drop it in that way. So um, that's pretty nice, actually. I really like that system. Uh, pulls really well, as you can see. And uh, like I said, fits the uh, 7 series, uh, new Ertl 7 series. So that's really pretty slick. Now I'm going to throw this guy to the side and... Just quickly take a look at the tracks. Again, not real difference, uh, not a real difference here, except for a couple small things. Um, of course, the tracks, kind of the big thing. But inside, I thought this was kind of a neat detail, and it shows that they put a little extra thought into these castings. See, the grading is different on the track. Let me just see if I can get these side by side. I know I don't have a ton of room here, but uh, check that out. So obviously, you got to have room for the big floater tires on the wheel version up here so you've got a little bump out for that so pretty neat that they differentiated the two as far as that goes other than that basically the same setup here um, there is on both of these a jack but as far as i can tell it doesn't actually swivel or anything like that it would be pretty finicky if it did it would be pretty pretty thin so same situation with the auger here um just not quite all the way out straight but it still looks pretty good so anyway the new much anticipated brent v series grain cars there's unreferred versions of these as well uh they look a little bit different as far as the schemes the, the color schemes and things like that uh i kind of just prefer the brent so i grabbed the brent for my own collection anyway guys that'll do it with the brent v series let me know what you think down below have yourselves a happy day, happy tractor hunting.